We all love going camping with great weather, but did you know the weather can actually have an impact on the inside of your RV? And I'm not just talking about the temperature. In fact, whether it's raining out, whether it's hot, whether it's cold, depending on what the humidity is, all of those things can play into just how healthy your RV is on the inside. Today, we're gonna to talk about one problem that most RVers experience at least once in their RVing lifetime. And that is condensation. <laughs> and most likely you've had it more than once in your RV. Now, you know you have condensation when you wake up and you go over to your windows and around the metal, there's little droplets of water. And in fact, that's one of the most common places to see condensation. But you might also see it on the walls in your RV. And it's very possible it's in some locations you don't know about. Why are we concerned about condensation? Well, honestly, that moisture on your walls, on your windows, and throughout your RV can cause things like rot, mildew, and even mold. And that's why we wanna make sure that we can combat condensation. One of the easiest ways to help prevent condensation in your RV is by simply opening your roof fence and having a window or two slightly crack. Just by cracking that window and having the vent open, that tends to eliminate the problem. Well, at least the problems that we can see. One of the places that most RVers don't realize they may have a problem with condensation is under their bed. You see, the bed typically sets on wood. And when you have a cloth mattress setting on top of wood, and that wood potentially is exposed to cold temperatures, that becomes the perfect breeding ground for condensation and then ultimately mildew and mold. Now, for those of you who have followed our channel for any length of time know, we used to be in a new camp Tab 400, and the Tab 400 comes with a Froley sleep system. It's those little plastic squares that you actually install underneath your mattress, which gives your mattress a little bit of support, a little bit of lift, and a lot of airflow underneath it. But the Froley sleep system can be costly for many RVers, and in our case, it actually won't even work in our style of bed. And the reason the Froley sleep system won't work on our bed is because half of our mattress is on top of our convertible sofa. The good news is we just recently found an alternative that's gonna do the same thing basically as the Froley sleep system in terms of eliminating or reducing the amount of condensation, but at a lower cost and is gonna give us the flexibility to still be able to convert our bed into a sofa. Our friends over at Mattress Insider sent over a product that they said will take care of our issue with condensation under our bed. So they sent us their Hypervent airflow moisture barrier and that's exactly what I have right here in this box. Now you can see it's a pretty good size box and it's fairly lightweight and I like that because we're not going to be adding a lot of extra weight to our trailer. So let's go ahead and open this up and we are going to be installing this. Before you place your order for this Hypervent Airflow Moisture Barrier, give Mattress Insider a call and one of their representatives will help you get the right size and the amount that you need for the size of bed that you have in your RV. Now you'll notice it's kind of this like honeycomb shaped, almost like a plastic on one side, but on the other side, we have this soft, almost like a cloth, but it's fine, don't worry, it's actually moisture proof. Now, one of the interesting things is I was doing some research on this Hypervent Airflow um, product is, this product was originally used for things like drainage in landscaping projects or parking lots. So, it is actually designed to create a barrier between your wood platform on your bed and your mattress. And what that's going to allow is for air to get up under there, thus reducing the condensation. And even if there is condensation of any sort, you are protecting your mattress so that you don't have to worry about the bottom side of your mattress getting wet. Let's go ahead and get this installed. The first thing we need to do is we're gonna to need to remove the mattress. And you can see here that this is our convertible sofa underneath, and that's why we couldn't really install a permanent system like the Froley system. our bed is sitting on this wood surface. Now the trailer is currently reading 60 degrees, but taking a reading here, 
this is actually reading about 51 degrees. So it's much cooler under here. Now, why is it cooler under our bed? Well, this area up here is a big pass-through storage. So that allows for air from the outside to come up under, tends to keep this area cold and our bed cold as well. But I think our new product is going to not only help make sure we don't have the condensation here, but also I think it's gonna help keep our mattress warmer. The Hypervent Moisture Air Barrier is approximately 40 inches in width. So they have sent me enough that I can cut two pieces of equal size, and then we're just going to put one at the top and one here at the bottom, and then we're gonna go ahead and seam those together to create the perfect size for our queen size residential mattress. And the great thing is I can use just a regular pair of scissors to go ahead and make our cut. Now we've made our cut, we can go ahead and lay our two pieces out and then I'm actually gonna seam them together to create one piece. You'll see that this is gonna come with like a section of cloth that's hanging over. I'm just gonna go ahead and take that extra and fold it right on over. And then I'm going to use this duct tape and tape it together. Now that I have my moisture barrier in place, all we have to do is go ahead and move our Mattress Insider Luxury Gel Foam Mattress back over on top. And there we go. Now our mattress is right back on top. But by having the Hypervent Airflow Moisture Barrier underneath, now we won't have to worry about condensation and mold and mildew with this mattress. We absolutely love our luxury gel foam mattress from Mattress Insider so much that we actually not only sleep on one in our RV, but we sleep on one in our home. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video about our mattress up here for you to watch next. And until next time, everybody, we'll see you on down the road. Good night.